Good morning, Year Ones. Today I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories. It's called Oh Hogwash, Sweet Pea, and it's written by a lady called Nareta Gable. I really love this story. It's fun, and it's about a little girl, perhaps the same age as you. She has trouble finding things. So here we go. Oh Hogwash, Sweet Pea. On Monday morning, Mama asked me, Sweet Pea, where are your shoes? I thought for a bit. Hmm, I said. Last night while I was sleeping, a whole family of ants marched out from under my bed. They carried my shoes outside and launched them into a puddle. Then they used them as canoes to get to the other side. And Papa laughed, oh hogwash sweet pea, he said, here are your shoes, you left them under the table. On Tuesday morning, Mama asked me, sweet pea, where are your shoes? I thought for a bit, hmm, I said, yesterday while I was playing outside, a kookapoo swooped down and landed beside me. Well, that kookapoo told me how cold his feet were and he asked if he could borrow my shoes to warm them up. And Mama, I got such a fright to hear a bird talk that I took my shoes off and gave them to him. He thanked me, put them on and soared off into the sky. Papa laughed. Oh, hogwash, sweet pea, he said. Here are your shoes. You left them in the laundry. On Wednesday morning, Mama asked me, sweet pea, where are your shoes? I thought for a bit, hmm, I said, yesterday I heard this knock on the door and when I went to answer it, there was this enormous giraffe standing there. Well, that giraffe said to me, sweet pea, your shoes, they're gorgeous. Could I use them for a necklace? And mama, I knew she'd look great in them, so I tied them around her neck and she galloped off down the road. Papa laughed. Oh, hogwash, sweet pea, he said. Here are your shoes. You left them in the car. On Thursday morning, Mama asked me, sweet pea, where are your shoes? I thought for a bit. Mmm, I said, last night while I was watching TV, this teeny tiny aeroplane zoomed in and landed beside me. And do you know what? The pilot was a cat. Well, this cat said to me, just look at your shoes. They're so fantastic. May I tie them to my plane? I could use them to land on the clouds. And Mama, I know it's important to help others. So I gave him my shoes and he tied them to his plane and whizzed off out the window. Papa laughed. Oh, hogwash, sweet pea, he said. Here are your shoes. You left them in your bag. On Friday morning, Mama asked me, sweet pea, where are your shoes? I thought for a bit. Hmm, I said, yesterday while I was playing outside, I took my shoes off and some little birds built nests inside them. Goodness me, laughed Mama. Haven't we heard a lot of stories this week? Let's go outside and look for your shoes, shall we? But when we opened the door... Oh, where? exclaimed Papa. It wasn't hogwash after all. Sweet pea, cried Mama. There really are little nests in your shoes. 
Oh, hogwash, smogwash, you two. Of course there are nests in my shoes. I would never, ever tell you. Hogwash. I hope you enjoyed this story. It's really fun, isn't it? I really love the illustrations. Perhaps you might want to go away now and get a big piece of paper and draw one of your favourite illustrations from this story. Have a great day.